Oh my goodness, I said poop. <laughs> yes, I know, I don't say the S word really. So um, anyway, I said poop because I wanted to share a quick little analogy that might be able to help you as it's helped me over the years um, handle difficult situations, especially when someone is being unreasonable, unre unfriendly, um, just, just frustrating and um, you, you're exasperated. So one of my favorite uh, examples that my mom gave me years ago, she came back from some sort of seminar. She would go to like Tony Robbins and she'd go to different things. And one time she came back and I don't know if it, it truly is a Buddhist saying, but um, she said, if someone, you know, you're having conflict with somebody or someone's being difficult and um, they're rattling your cage, she said, just imagine they're handing a bag of poop to you, okay? And yeah, I took a shower and I didn't do my hair. I just kind of came out here. <laughs> I'm like, ah! Uh, someone tries to hand you a bag of poop, right? And I just picture a brown paper bag, but maybe it's a clear plastic bag, whatever. Both are gross, right? And so there's this hot, steamy poop in the bag. And, um, and they're trying to hand it to you. And they're like, take the poop. You know, you're this, you're that. Uh, you're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. And blah, 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 whatever. That's the hot, steamy poop, right? So are you going to reach out? So many, you know, we don't mean to, but we reach out and we take that poop. And it's, it's upsetting and it's gross and it weighs on us. And we carry it around and we smell it. And it's just, it's highly uncomfortable. So when, when we um, take the poop, when we internalize those criticisms, those accusations, those um, attitudes, and we internalize them and we grab a hold of them, they just create a stench in our life and they weigh us down and they, it's troublesome, right? It's not, it's uncomfortable. So, um, so just simply put, you know, when people are behaving this way, they're trying to hand you their, their baggage, their guilt trip, their accusations their criticisms and we know that they're just um, they're not true and even if they are true and we we still need to process them apart from the poop we can do that but we don't have to take the poop part okay so um, don't take the poop just just picture them just picture them holding that bag and you're not taking it so since you're not taking that from them who's left holding the poop who's left holding the stench who's hold left uh, hold, feeling that nasty warm nastiness they are right because you didn't take it from them you let them keep it and and you just picture them having to carry around the poop because you're not going to you're like yeah okay whatever but I'm not taking that right so of course I have countless scriptures that will <laughs> provide scriptural um, information regarding the same situation but I just love the visual of that you know I'm um, but I will share a couple of Bible ones because it's just in my blood it's in my bones it's in my spirit um, one of my favorites says is when your enemy sets a trap before you he will fall into their own pit you know if they dig a pit before you or a trap before you they'll fall into their own trap right you know they will be ashamed when they lie about you because they'll be exposed later and they'll feel shame for lying about you so and the other one is you know the Lord is our defense you know if he, if we just stand back and let the accusers accuse us the Bible says the Lord will defend us but if you start defending yourself then you've taken the poop you know and you're just gonna get what you get so anyway have a great night <laughs> and um, man I've been busy so I miss you and hope you miss me too okay bye <laughs>